Planet show in the morning, plus the Leonid Meteor Shower. Hey there, Stargazers. I'm James Alberry, And I'm Dean Regis. And we're here to tell you about the Morning Planet show the next two weeks and give you some tips on watching the Leonid Meteor Shower. And in case you think you've spotted a UFO in the east just before sunrise, let me remind you that what you're seeing is really the brilliant planet Venus. But our UFO is about to rendezvous with a shuttlecraft. Let's start looking Monday the 19th, about an hour before sunrise. We'll show every other day for the next week or so. On Monday, the main UFO slash Venus is about eight and a half degrees above another somewhat dimmer spot of light. If you look every morning, the dimmer spot of light, the shuttlecraft, will climb higher and closer to the mothership. Here is the 21st, the 23rd, and the 25th. Then on the 26th, they're really getting close, but the next day they will have passed by each other and they'll keep on going. That shuttlecraft is really the ringed planet Saturn, which we've been enjoying in the evening sky for the past several months. Saturn has now passed into the pre-dawn sky and along with Venus will give us a planet show in the eastern sky before sunrise. Plus, if you look below Venus on the 29th, you may spot another pinkish planet, Mercury, joining the planet party. Saturn, Venus, and Mercury will line up in the morning sky every day until they're joined by a crescent moon on December 10th, and then even better on the 11th. And for those of you who have been keeping track of the Leonid meteor shower every November, let's show you what you may see on the nights when the Leonid meteor shower may be at its best. And that word may is very important. Okay, we have our skies set for 3 a.m. Saturday morning the 17th through Tuesday morning the 20th, facing east where you'll see several stars which make up a sickle or backwards question mark, and three more stars which make up a triangle. These two patterns form the head and rear of Leo the lion for whom the Leonid meteor shower is named, because the meteors will appear to come from a point in the head of Leo. And if it's clear, and if you're far away from any city lights, you may see a few bright meteors radiate from the head of the Leo, if you watch the sky from 3 a.m. to sunrise. The reason I say may is because meteor showers do not come with a guarantee. Your meteor mileage may vary. In fact, a better term would be meteor sprinkle. While there can be showers and maybe even storms of meteors, what you usually see are a mere handful of bright meteors streaking across the sky. Let's talk about what makes the Leonid meteor shower tick. All meteor showers occur when the Earth runs into a cluster of debris in space, and the particles make a streak of light as they crash through the Earth's atmosphere and burn up about 50 to 150 miles away from the observer. The Earth's orbit around the Sun is very repetitive. Boring, actually. We go around and around and return to the same spot in space at the same time every year. This is why we can predict when a meteor shower will happen. Now, the Earth is moving at about 66,000 miles per hour in its orbit around the Sun. So even if the landed meteor shower particles were sitting still in space, we'd still hit them pretty fast. But they're flying through space as well and hit us head on. The flashes you'll see will be the result of particles moving about 160,000 miles per hour as they enter the atmosphere and vaporize. The Leonid meteors are famous for leaving glowing trails that last for a long time. We don't actually see the particles. They're far too small to see at that distance. What we do see is the glowing column of air that the particles have passed through. So, Get out to watch Saturn cozy up to Venus in the mornings next week with a spectacular close pass on the 26th and 27th. And don't miss this year's Leonid meteor shower from Saturday the 17th through Tuesday morning the 20th. Keep, Keep looking, looking up. up.